Hey, we're here with the new head coach of Kennesaw State. It's Antoine. I make sure I say it right. Petway, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Petway. Make sure we get it out. I don't want to say Petway or just <laughs> Petway. Petway, yes, sir. Coach, I'm gonna start with this. We always love to ask athletes, coaches, mm -hmm. whatever. When we ask athletes. We say, what's what was it like the first time you saw your name on the back of the jersey? <laughs> For you, what was it like to hear the head coach, Antoine Pettway? Man, it was so exciting. Um, this is just an opportunity that I dreamed about. I've wanted it for so long. And uh, to come to a place like this to put my first head coaching job, Kennesaw State University, a place that I know can be successful, a place with championship people, it just, it means the world. To hear that before my name, man, like this, it, it was a feeling I can't even describe. That, that press conference was one, getting this job in the press conference probably one of the best days of my life. It was an awesome thing to hear because everybody we talked to talks. Mm -hmm. I had a chance to talk to Colin. He was talking yeah. about, we got a good one here at Kennesaw <laughs> 15 years yes, sir. at one spot and, and continue to work and do what you do. And, and how did you stay uh, humble and knowing your time would come and not get over anxious just doing the job mm -hmm. you know, day to day? Well, I always, like, I know, like, we're blessed to be where we are. You know what I mean? That's, that's one thing, like, I never take for granted. I'm blessed to be able to be able to affect young men and create, you know, be be able to mentor young guys, and that's something I never take for granted. So I just always remain humble because I know, like, my path to get here. I know where I came from, and just to see where I am today, like, I just know it's it's just truly a blessing. Take us through the process. Um, we know that you were. I want to. I think I heard Will say this is your second time interviewing for this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I've been liking Kennesaw State for a long time. <laughs> so the job becomes open, and yep. you hear about it. And of course, you apply for it. Take us just a little bit, as much as you can, about the process of coming and getting this job. Yeah, um, I think Milton maybe reached out to me when they were about to go to the Final Four, and they were going to start interviews. And um, I think uh, I wasn't going to the Final Four just because from the season at Bama. Um, you know, the season just got done. I wanted to just take those days that, you know, it's a dead period, can't do anything. So a lot of us go to the to the Final Four and hang out with our, you know, with guys that, you know, in the business. But I just wanted to take that time, spend time with my, my wife and the kids. So I told them I wasn't going to the Final Four. And so we did a Zoom interview and uh, it just took off from there. I did one. Then I came to campus, man, and met some just awesome people. Melanie at Open HR. I met one of our academic advisors, uh, Miss Claire, uh, met Tamika for the first time, and it was like, man, I knew Milton, um, but then you see the, the other championship people that's involved in this place, man, met president, met the president, like it was just like, yeah, it's, it, it was all I thought it, I, I thought it was gonna be. You talk about family and uh, coach. You you were deep at the press conference. I saw. Yeah, oh about. man, oh yeah, we, <laughs> hey, we rolled deep yeah, now I for you sure. Were deep at the press conference. <laughs> But that decision, yeah. how long did it take for your family to buy in to, uh, to make Kennesaw home and to make, that, you know, make this jump to Kennesaw? When I came back from the interview, I sat down with my wife. I said, if I got a chance to get this one, babe, I'm going. And we prayed about it. And, um, you know, I have a son that's autistic. And um, a lot of the reason I didn't leave Alabama for 15 years, I wanted to make sure he um, he was going to be situated in the place I, I would go with, have resources and stuff like that. So uh, we were all good, man. This place is awesome. Um, my son's gonna have a good adjustment. My little girls, they everything. So they, they, they were all having. Dad, we get a new house. We move, get a new house. So uh, that's what they want. That's what they. they yep, they yep. But um, yeah, I sat down. And I you know talked to my family. Then my my mom, my 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 dad, my stepmom, all them. They like we'll be there every single game. Don't you worry. We're like. We're coming, so my family, they, you know, they ride the state, they're, they're state over, and we got a lot of family in this area from my wife's family then. So, no, nah, we're going we're gonna to be deep at all the Kennesaw State games for sure. Because I don't want to pry in your, your, your family, but we, we, we know how much your son means to me. And yeah. what you talked about that a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Having him in, to see, and, and your kids alone, to see that your dad, that daddy grow into this head coach and to see all this – going for them. What, was that, what did that mean to you as a father to be able to share this with them? You know, I, I'm, I pride myself. Like, I, I want to be a really, really great coach at the end of the day, but man, I want to be a great husband and a great father. So, 
just being that constant role model to the old three, the old three guys, those that my son and those two little girls that like I'm responsible for them. So that's they mine. So I want to make sure I'm always putting them and making sure I'm doing things that's gonna make sure they successful in the future. So for them to get a chance to see their dad do that, man, it meant the world to me. Uh, my son, he you know he's a he was a big roll tie guy, you know, dancing in the <laughs> locker room at the games. Right. So now he's see saying go owls like you know, and he's doing the little you know the the owl eyes and man, it just means everything to him because like you know, and 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 parents of of kids with autism, you, you, they know, like they they teach us just as much as we teach them a lot of times, man. You know, his heart is so pure, man. Like he. He just loves everybody. He teaches me so much on a daily basis. So, like, seeing him happy that day, seeing my girls running around the convocation center, just jumping around my office, daddy, office, daddy, office. So, nah, that was, that was, that was awesome, man. It was awesome. And, finish with, and then we get to the basketball stuff, but your wife, you talked about how much she meant to mm -hmm. put her career to the side and allow <clears> you to grow. How important is that? I don't think a lot of people understand yeah. from coaches what it takes to be a coach's wife. No least. doubt. Or a spouse in general. Yes. What are your th just talk about her and what she Oh man, doing. she she's been invaluable to me. Like um, a coach's wife is one of the toughest because she gets the brunt of it. When we lose, I don't want to talk. When we win, I'm on cloud nine and want to stay up all times. You know what I mean? So she sees both. She she rides the roller coaster with with me. Um, but just having her support, you know, like I said, it's the sacrifice she made stop working just so we can be there for the development of Keeson and make sure he has everything he needs. I mean, it was huge. And uh, I'm, I'm blessed. I knew I picked the right woman uh, after she pursued me. Y'all keep putting that out now. <laughs> after we met in college, man, uh, I knew uh, I knew early on that after my sophomore year that she was going to be the one I married. And, I, and she proved me right every single day. Let's talk about you a little bit. Walk on in Alabama. Yes, sir. The tenacity. Mm -hmm. Who is Antoine Petway? What is it about you? You, you got grit. Everybody just looking yeah. like, man, this guy, he gets it from the mother. That's what yeah. Yes, what yes, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. So talk about who you are and why, it, you know, <clears throat> your grind. It's just to hear your story is like, yeah. you can write this. This yeah, is something no. you had to go through, man. I've been blessed and highly favored, man. And like, when I say like all I know is like, just to go hard, man. Like, just put your head down and just work. That's, that, that's my mentality because I would not have been able to play at Alabama. I wouldn't be able to coach at Alabama. I wouldn't be where I am today at Kennesaw State if I just didn't just just love the grind. And that's, that's my mentality, like coming from where I come from, uh, walking on to a, a, a team that, you know, by all accounts, I wasn't supposed to play. But I wasn't taking no for an answer. I made sure every single day I gave him my all. And I just said, wherever the chips fall, they don't fall where they make, but I'm going to give it everything I got. And it's the same thing. I'm, you know, that's my approach in coaching. Like, we may not win every game, but we're going to give it everything we got preparing for it. And when we touch that floor, I want everybody in, Ken in the Kennesaw State community to know, like, my guys gave it all, gave it everything they had. And if they give it everything they had, I'm fine with the result. You know what I mean? The, as long as we, we enjoying the process, of getting to where we're trying to get to. I love it, man. Every single day, I want everyday dudes that come in and work their tail off because that's what I was. That's why I am where I am today. I was an everyday guy. And I think when you get everyday guys that bring consistent effort and that love each other, the sky's the limit. And one of the best phrases I heard during the press conference was, this is not a rebuild. Yes, yes, this yes. You know, you know <clears throat> what you're coming into. Mm -hmm. Kennesaw State did winning the A-Sun. Mm -hmm. Having a chance to play very well mm -hmm. in March Madness. That phrase, yeah. this is not a rebuild. What does that mean for you? And what, why did why was that important thing for you to say? Yeah, because, I, you know, I know we lost a lot. But those three guys, trust me. They, that, I go back and look at the numbers. We lost those three dudes. And then I think two guys graduated. But with that said, I'm, I mean, Terrell Burton to me is one of the best point guards in the conference in the country and maybe the best point guard in the conference in the A Sun. Like he's he's dynamic. From watching him play, like not even knowing about him, watching the game, I'm like, this little joke gets so low to the ground, you can't do nothing but foul him. You know what I mean? Then uh Damon Robinson, he's been I mean, he's one of the best bigs in our conference as well. He's been good for a very long time. So I think you got two bookends. Now we gotta do our job and add, continue to add pieces to this guy. But I think they experienced winning a championship. 
they know what it feel like to get there. Now, those three guys leaving and then I think maybe five out of the top eight maybe are gone. But with that said, man, we got some hungry guys. We're going to continue to add pieces. I love the group of guys that we have, and we just going to work at it. Work at, I'm not putting <clears> – excuse me. I don't want to put false promises or false expectations on us going into next season. But what I do know, the guys that we got in those Kennesaw State jerseys are going to bust that tear. They're going to work hard, and they're going to play hard. And that's, if we do that, let the chips fall where they may. I think this community is going to be proud of this team. They're going to be proud of the product that – that um, fills the floor next season, and I'm ready. I love our group. I love our heart. We're going to be gritty, but we got some talent. We got some talent, we're going to continue to add to that talent. You know, Coach, I've always been told by other coaches, going from, from the second chair to the first chair is mm -hmm. a big job. Mm -hmm. Talk about this week in general, yes. what you've had to go through from just not being, you know, being assistant is one thing. Yeah. But now you are the guy. You no are the doubt, one no doubt. Program, the men's basketball. Talk about going to that first year and what it this a week like this was for you. It's it's an adjustment for sure. Uh, a lot of things that you may, I, I didn't have to do as a season coach, I gotta probably do now, like interviews. Like I didn't know I was more in background. Just you know, what I mean, I think in the press conference, you could tell starting off, I was a, you know, I was just because I never had to do like I've normally been the guy, you know. They just get this work done, that kind of thing. So now I'm out in the forefront. But like, to be honest, man, like my first couple of days, I was, I was like not overwhelmed, but I was just feeling blessed. And then I'm just, I'm like, if I got to be up here till 11 o'clock at night, I'm getting this done, calling this guy. But now that I'm slow to adding pieces around me, and uh, you know, I got guys like this guy Mark over here, man. He's been great. You know, he's been here, he's been having me along. So. It's like it's a bunch of championship people, man. Milton's been great. Tamika, like Coach Blue, like all the people that's that's been reaching out, man. It's it's been awesome. So I I just feel blessed. And as I add pieces around me, man, it's like it's feeling more and more like it, it, it's just coming together, you know. So you know it's amazing. And we got a few more minutes, Coach. It, it's amazing how you can get a job, one minute, and you got to get the work, like. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> it's like, like uh, you got to get recruited, you got to get yes, the portal, yes. all of that. And we've seen, you know, mm -hmm. some good names coming here. Well, mm -hmm. how important was it to you? You had to get the, on the ground running. To get the Have to, man. I mean, uh, we first we got five spots open um, in the recruiting process. So we had to basically lean on our contacts, a uh, couple of guys, just, just, lean, just lean on contacts and lean on our past experiences and, you know, making calls. And, I mean, I like, I like where we're going. I like I like I like what we're doing on the crew scene. Can't really call names or anything until they until they've signed, but we're gonna continue to add good pieces to what we already have and um we're gonna just keep working it. Nobody's gonna work harder to establish themselves in, in the state of Georgia and in this southeastern region. Like we're gonna go at it hard and this Kennesaw State, this this KS, I got one with a big owl on it too, like an owl on it. So we're gonna get this thing out and let everybody see it and just it show people who we are. Like, I just, I'm going to continue to just show people who I am, you know, like, I'm just going to be myself and show people who I am. And what we do is not for everybody, but the ones that it's for, we're going to promote and we're going to get better every single day. I have two more questions for you, Coach. This one here, you heard the word recruiter. Yeah, you yeah. name a lot. And you know up in Northwest Georgia and, and mm -hmm. Cobb and Georgia. Mm -hmm. We hear about closing the fence, keeping them in, oh, keeping yeah, them oh, yeah. home. Oh, yeah. Talk to us about that and trying to the importance of recruiting this area and not in the state, yeah. the southeast in general. No, we want to start at home in recruiting. Like we want to target Georgia. We want to target these 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 Atlanta kids, just all of Georgia. Target them because, like I said, Georgia is a hotbed for talent. I mean, it's highly recruited throughout the country. So. With us having this location where we're right here, you have a lot of times where, you know, it's some really good young kids, like freshmen. I think it's some really, really good coaches in this area. So we're going to be afforded the opportunity to sign freshmen because they've been coached so well from middle school to high school to AAU programs or terrific as, as well. So I think we can take some freshmen, but then we also can take some of the guys that go off high major and haven't played as much as they would like and they can come back to a school like Kennesaw and we can, you know, give them some playing time and let them go play. So it's, it's very, it's an attractive spot. You look at campus, you look at our administration, the coaching staff we're going to have here, 
So we'll have an opportunity to do some special things in the future, man. But we just got to work at it every single day. You know that you just got to keep chopping wood. It's not going to happen overnight. Like I said, we, we, we lost a lot. But, man, we, 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 got, we got a good core down there. And there's some guys that are used to winning championships. So it's perfect. Last question. For the fans of Kennesaw State, for the future fans of Kennesaw State, mm -hmm. what can they expect from uh, Coach Antoine Petway-led Kennesaw State out? A team that's going to compete every single night. Like, we're going to compete. We're going to play hard. And, uh, you know, you guys, we're we, we going to strive to make sure, like, it's exciting and that you love coming to Kennesaw State games. Uh, can't promise we're going to win every game. But I know my guys are going to compete and we're going to fight to the very, very end. It's no, it's not. We're gonna be gritty. We're gonna be tough. We're gonna be tough, and we're gonna be connected. So that's why we're gonna be tough and connected as a group, and with family. Like when adversity comes, because adversity comes at some point through the team. I mean, through the season, we're gonna have a connected team that we're gonna get through it, and we're gonna be stronger because of it. So just look for us tough, exciting, fast-paced basketball brand that's that's gonna bring excitement, but. The most important thing you're gonna be, you're gonna see blue collar, hard working dudes out there that are giving it their all, that don't don't take for granted the opportunity to put on that Kennesaw State uniform.